Today, let's learn a creative way to present world map in Office 365 PowerPoint. Let us say you want to present the seven continents of the world. The way you would present is like this. On a click, you would present the first continent. Then we will rotate the globe and show the second continent and then rotate it, show the third continent, then the fourth continent, then the fifth continent, the sixth continent and the seventh continent. Isn't that beautiful? Now, since you are using a 3D globe, you would be able to present the information with far more accuracy. If you're a teacher, your students will understand the location of the various continents far more correctly and they would be able to remember it far longer. Let us learn how to do this from scratch. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, a comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program for professionals. A little while earlier, I created this video called Zoom into Maps Creatively with PowerPoint Morph. They received a lot of comments from a lot of teachers and they liked this idea. So I thought, why not present the same idea even more creatively using 3D globe in PowerPoint? So the result is what you're seeing right now. The first thing we require is Office 365 account because that will allow you to access 3D models. You go to insert 3D models and go to stock 3D models and say globe and hit enter. Now you have a whole bunch of globes to choose from. I'm choosing this. You can choose this, this, this. It's completely up to you. So let us select this and say insert. Now that would insert a 3D model of globe. Now I'm going to hold the control and shift button together while I expand it like this. Now it's only a matter of rotating this model and providing your labels. For example, I'm going to click and move this down and here I bring in Asia to the front. Then I go to home and then I use my text box to write Asia and let me really increase the size to somewhere around say 72 and then place it over here. Now one continent is shown. Then right click, duplicate the slide. Let us say I want to show Australia. All I need to do is to click and then move it like this. And I have Australia on the front. Now I'm going to just replace this with Australia. Then right click, duplicate the slide, click and then rotate this. As you rotate it, you get North America. So you go here and make the change and say this is North America. You can of course reduce the font size. You can make it folded. It is completely up to you. All these are simple details. And then let us right click duplicate slide and then go up. And now we have South America. Now that is how you would continue to name the different continents. And once you are done, I'm going to select the second slide here. Go all the way down to the last slide, hold the shift button down and click so you're able to select all of them. Go to transitions and apply morph transition. That's it. There is really nothing else to this. Just go here, go to slideshow. This is our first continent. Click, show the second continent, rotate, show the next continent, then show the next continent. So you can keep doing this and you can point to very specific areas in the map and your audience will definitely get impressed with what they are seeing and will ask you, where did you learn this trick? And you can always point to presentation process. <laughs> of course, I'm joking. You can take all the credit and enjoy the applause. By the way, if you're a teacher, then we have this very useful bundle called PowerPoint Teachers Bundle which is a collection of 140 PowerPoint templates for teachers, 25 interactive tabs, and more importantly, 220 interactive quiz templates pack in this PowerPoint teachers bundle. This is a bundle that is created exclusively for teachers to make their presentations that much more engaging, even for distracted audience. I will leave a link to this product in the description box below the video. Check out more details about this product. And if you like it, go ahead, make a purchase, and you will definitely find value in it. While you are at it, why don't you watch this video which I created earlier that shows you a different technique to present maps. Of course, you can use this technique to show any map in a creative way. So go ahead, click on the link that you see right now on your screen, watch the video and learn something new today.
I'll see you inside this video.